勝ちでございます。空手ワールドカップ優勝アンディーフレー青コーナー174センチ90キログラム制御を開始。角田のぶあきレフリージムケイシセカンドアウトセカンドアウトセカンドアウトあ
And there's Kakuda. Kakuda comes from uh, Master Ishii, the head of the K1's style of uh, bare knuckle karate. Going up against this man, Hiroki Kurosawa. Both men weighing in at exactly 193 pounds. This will be contested under full contact karate rules, meaning it is bare knuckled and there is no punching to the face. That's it, but anything else goes. Knees to the head, kicks to the head. Uh, elbows to the body, uh, to the whole body. Yeah, no punch to the head, that's it. Anything goes for the rest. I'm telling you, this is a very tough martial art because it's bare knuckle, you're hitting hips, you're hitting elbows with your knuckles, the, the upper chest. And low kicks. Let's not forget about the low kicks, kicks to the body. And the conditioning in Kyokushin is that they kick and punch and break bricks and boards. So those shots hurt. Look how still Kakuda is. I like the short sleeve gi, boss. Yeah, it shows your muscle definition. <laughs> that too. Nice kick. Both men have their wrists taped, but the knuckles are bare. Well, it's Kurosawa coming out with the low kicks here. It's so easy like that for an unintentional punch to the face. And he'll get a warning. He won't get a point deducted. That's one of the complicated things about uh, Kyokushin or bare knuckle karate is once you get into a flurry, I mean, in, in, a, in a real fight, uh, you, you're gonna, first thing you're gonna do is punch the guy in the face. Yeah. You can always do it one time and get the warning and then uh, you already took advantage of it. <laughs> oh, a little bit of payback. I'm sorry. Did I do that to you back now? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> exactly. In the heyday of bare knuckle karate in the United States, a man by the name of Chuck Norris used to fight in the really hardcore days where there were a lot of unintentional face punches. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's a smart thing. It's like I said, you get a warning. As long as you knock, knock the guy out, at least you got it one time. It's like well, yeah, a, a bad thing to do. What kick him in the door one time by accident? You know, it's, it happens. But well, where are them going? But look at these guys pounding to the body here. People I, don't. Yeah, sorry, man. No, you go ahead. Yeah, people don't realize what impact those punches to the chest have. 
points to the body, uh, the kicks to the, lo the low kicks, and the punches to the chest. And they're so quick, too. And there's another thing about, there's the practicing of the offense, but many times, these men condition their bodies to take the impact by getting kicked and punched. Yeah. I know they uh, they put in like a little rope around their waist and they hang them up like a punch them back and then they get kicked by all the students. You're a funny guy. What we used to do at the Jet Center is the, the teacher used to say, don't check the kick, don't block the kick. Take the impact on the thigh. Yeah. To condition and get used to it. That's it. I, I think it's always the best to do. Okay, end of round one. Both men having the, quote, unintentional, unquote, face contact on each other. But realistically, I believe it was unintentional. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but they're going bone to bone here, literally. The because Grace Doctor, oh, yes. Look at this. Machine gun punching. Wang, wang, wang. I would have to say that Kurosawa looked the stronger of the two in that in that round. He was the busier, he didn't wait, he didn't hesitate. And his strikes, I think, were more effective. Yeah, the, the man in the blue is Mr. Uh, um, uh, Harimoto. And he's the Pankers doctor from uh, Japan. Kakuda on the left, Kurosawa on the right. Neither man hurt each other in the first round. And if they did, they don't show it. Look at those combinations by Kurosawa and the knee to the body. You were speaking earlier about a punching bag. He's turning Kakuda momentarily into a punching bag. Wow. You see how he pulled back the right hand and did the low block? I love when they do that. Uh, Filio. We see Filio doing that in the K1. Knocks somebody down and he pulls back. Francisco Filio. Right. Francisco Filio. Kurosawa is definitely dictating the action in this fight. One thing for sure, he's only going forward, doing everything. Look at those kicks. Well, what's amazing is that Kurosawa had a possible career-threatening injury in the Pride Fighting Championships, number one, to his knee. Obviously, he got over that injury. He's just the busier of the two. His combinations are smoother. He's got more power. He's got to be well ahead on points at this at this moment. And there's that move, Ross. He blocked with the left and threw the right low kick. I love that move. It's perfect. And those low kicks hurt. Because you don't tense your muscle. You don't flex your muscle. Kurosawa is punishing the legs and the body of Kakuda at this moment. Kakuda just doesn't have the answers right now. A, a single shot here and there is not going to do it. He's got to flurry. He's got to do damage. He's got to put Kurosawa down. He's got to do something. All he's doing is taking impact. Boss, do you think that Kakuda has given up? It looks like, it looks like um, stamina plays a big factor here. A major factor, because I don't see Kurosawa, Kurosawa breathing, and he keeps firing. He doesn't stop. And it also helps when you when you don't see your opponent doing anything back. You got wings, so to say. You can unleash. Kakuda is a very popular figure in Japan as one of the top referees and the rule director for the K1 uh, fighting event, and that's mainly kickboxing. And he also, as a uh, full contact fighter, had some classic wars with the great fighter from Switzerland, Andy Hu. 
But good to fight Andy Hoog. Unfortunately, Andy Hoog stopped him twice. Wow. And it looks like Kurosawa has gotten the victory. But the, look at that respect. Oh, the hug there. And this is very uncharacteristic because usually they bow and that's it. That's it の今日は超人伝説の実現。白田の格闘家人生において今回はベスト約7。5年ぶり角田は空手技を脱ぎしてリングに登場しました。赤コーナー 170cm91.1kg 第5回 第3位。黒沢ヒロキ。レフリー、ヒガリ原始。ジャッジ島光と田畑康、大森俊。この試合は K1ルール3分3ラウンドで行われます。3ノックダウン制。最大延長は2ラウンドまであります。3ノックダウ